Hi. Hey. What do you think of a world where um, banks become technology companies and not banks anymore, and then we give them smart contracts or blockchains as a tool with which we, have, we wanted to avoid this control? Like, it would be... I, I think we will see... For, first of all, banks are technology companies today. Uh, and part of the banks is 1970s technology. That's the part that touches the most government. And parts of the banks is, you know, cutting edge 2016 machine learning technology. And that's the part that screws the stock market and you out of all of your savings, uh, very effectively with high frequency trading. But um, banks are technology companies. Banks are not financial companies. They are fundamentally software engineering companies and have been for more than two decades now. They will adapt. The vast majority of banks will adapt when they are pressured to, when they need to adapt um, to a world in which digital currencies are part of the things that their customers need and use. And, and when that's the case, they will adapt, and, they, and some of them will thrive in this new world of transparent digital currency and decentralized ledgers and um, transferable assets and tokens and all of that. If you talk to some of the, you've got to realize, you know, banks are not bankers. Bankers, for the most part, are not evil people. They're, they have some sociopaths at the CCO level, but most of them are. Nice people trying to pay their mortgage and raise their family. And some of them are really cool geeks who are doing things with quantum uh, you know, with uh, quanti sorry, quantitative trading and algorithmic trading. And when they look at Bitcoin, they go, "Oh wow, I would love to play in that with a lot of money." So they will adapt. Um, I remember a time when phone companies uh, still used the telegraph part in their name, and they still were very proud of the telephone part in their name. Today, all phone companies are internet service providers first, and voice is one of the applications they carry. Um, and they were the biggest, if you like, um, opponents to the internet, and now they are the internet. So don't be surprised if two decades from now, a, a big chunk of the infrastructure of decentralized currencies and a big chunk of the liquidity of decentralized currencies is offered by transformed banks that have learned this lesson. But keep in mind that in that process, some of them will go out of business very, very quickly.